Hi everyone, this is a quick video from me, Corporate Maps, to give you a bit of an update in terms of the resources that I've added to the website over the last year, so throughout 2024, and some of the really, really, really exciting projects that I've got planned ahead. Now, 2024 has been a very, very busy year for the website. There's been some big undertakings, such as the 100 Days to Go videos, to so those GCSE revision videos for students preparing for GCSE Higher and GCSE Foundation, with a video every single day, so with 100 days to go, all the way up to the exam, so to support students with their revision, that little and often approach to help them maximize their results in their GCSE Maths exams. So the 100 days to go videos, they've been added to the website this year. Also, there's been lots and lots of further maths resources added to the website. And also, one of the most significant undertakings has been the overhaul of the practice questions. So updating those practice questions, adding in thousands of more questions, and also video solutions, and there's been some amazing progress there as well. Now, actually, before I carry on and go through the details of the resources that have been added to the website and also those exciting projects that I've got ahead, I want to give a big thank you to anyone who supports Code Labs. So that's whether you're a student who uses the resources, a teacher or a tutor who uses the resources or shares them with their students, or whether you're a parent who uses the website. And actually, a big thank you to anyone who buys the GCSE Higher Foundation Revision Cards, the Primary Study Cards, the Further Math Study Cards, or the Five A Day Books. All that support is invaluable, and without your support, all this work wouldn't be possible. So actually, thank you to anyone who's placed an order for the revision cards, a school order for the revision cards or books, or a big thank you to anyone who's promoted them with their students and recommended them, because those resources can really, really help students prepare for their GCSE exams. But also, by buying and promoting those resources, you actually help me create these resources that hopefully you can use that are freely accessible on the website. So just want to say a big thank you to anyone who supports the website and actually anyone that buys any of the products. So thank you, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So now let's go through some of the resources that are added on during 2024. So there's the 100 days to go videos. And I had lots of amazing feedback from students and teachers that they were really helpful in helping students prepare for the GCSE Maths exam. Now part of the exciting announcement that I've got today is actually it's not a resource that hopefully is gonna go hand in hand with those 100 days to go videos. So it's gonna be freely accessible on the website. I'm gonna hopefully release it at the end of December, start of January. And hopefully that's gonna go hand in hand with those 100 days to go videos to really support anyone preparing for the GCSE Maths exams. So hopefully that resource will be really, really useful. I'll talk a bit more about that later on in the video. So so there's 100 days to go videos. Then also there's the further miles resources. And then also there's the practice questions. And updating those practice questions has been a massive undertaking. Whenever I started updating them, I think there was around about 300 booklets with about 3,000 questions. At the minute, there's now 5,000 questions. So there's been a massive um, increase in terms of the number of questions. But also I've updated the booklets. I was updating one the other day, which mentioned iPods. So uh, I'm not sure if people actually use iPods anymore, but whenever I made that booklet originally in 2012, people did. So I'm updating the practice questions and making them more relevant, but also adding in loads of questions and also video solutions so that whenever students and their parents are perhaps going through the questions at home, they've got me explaining every single one of those 5,000 and hopefully soon to be 6,000, 7,000 questions on those practice questions. So those video solutions will be really useful for students, but also if they've got the revision cards, that means every single question on the revision cards, they've got a video explanation of me explaining the questions as well. I've actually added in new booklets of questions on topics which I didn't have previously, so there's actually 20 new booklets as well. So what I'm gonna go through is, I'm gonna go through now a list of all the booklets that have updated throughout the last year. So if you watch the update video in 2023, these are now all the booklets that have been updated since. So for instance, completing the square. Completing the square had nine questions. It's now got 20 questions. Uh, dividing terms had 11 questions. It's now got 25 questions. And there's a massive improvement in terms of the number of questions in each of those. And also the style of questions as well. I'm adding in lots of new problem solving questions in terms of all those booklets. So I really hope you're gonna like those. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through all the topics. I'm not gonna go through like, for instance, equation of a circle. It's gone from 11 questions up to 20 but uh, you can go on and have a look at them but we've added on our updated booklets on completing the square dividing terms equation of a circle formula expressions multiplying terms laws of indices algebraic notation algebraic fractions angles and parallel lines bearings angles measuring and types and so on missing angles area of compound shapes area of regular hexagons area on a grid area of a sector the medium from a frequency table linear interpolation the combined mean arc length, circumference, the terms congruent and similar shapes, constructing angles, constructions, loci, coordinates, 3D coordinates, distance between two points, the data handling cycle, adding and subtracting decimals, multiplying and dividing decimals, division, multiplying and dividing by powers of 10, enlargements, negative scale factors, ray method, solving equations, fractional equations, advanced fractional equations, formula equations, decimals and percentages, 
fractions and percentages, fractions and decimals, equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages, ordinary fractions, decimals and percentages, equivalent fractions, simplifying fractions and so on, fractions of amounts, reverse fractions, top heavy fractions and mixed numbers, bar charts, pictograms and tally charts, scatter graphs, indices, inequalities, graphical inequalities, drawn linear graphs, parallel lines with the same gradients, perpendicular lines, Multiplication, the end number, best buys, estimation, rational or rational numbers, percentage change, percentage of amounts of a calculator, percentage of amounts without a calculator, increase and decrease by percentage, express and as a percentage, multipliers, sample spaces, tree diagrams, lists and outcomes, recipes, Pythagoras, reflections, stratified sampling, nonlinear simultaneous equations, symmetry, two way tables, translations, types of data, volume of a pyramid time calculations and timetables, equation of a tangent to a circle, product of counting and pressure. So all of those topics I've read out, I've updated their practice questions. And that has been a big undertaking for everyone may have perhaps made them go from nine to 15 questions or from 18 to 30 questions. So I've updated those and how they've appeared and also the context and so on, added in more problem solving questions as well. And with those topics, the video solutions as well. Also I've made 20 new booklets and they're on the mode from a frequency table, comparing distributions, bar charts, pictograms, tally charts, composite bar charts, dual bar charts using samples, the equations of motion, triangles and the length of the sides and whether the triangles are possible, the volume of a frustrum, mathematical terms such as equation, expression, formula and so on, equating coefficients, set notation, multipliers, vertical line graphs, coins, profit, factorizing and taking brackets out, and also the combined mean. So I spent a lot of time going through all of those booklets, updating them, adding in video solutions. And whenever I started the year, I think we had had about 30% of the topics done, and now we're on about 75%. So I'm really hoping by spring, late spring, and then I'm going to have all of those finished. I'll be finished this task. I sort of it's one of those tasks which I thought shouldn't take too long. It actually take me a couple of years, but when I actually think about it, I'm doubling up the number of practice questions on the website, it's quite a big undertaking. So there's some of the resources that I've added onto the website over the last year, it's throughout 2024. And whenever I started the year, it was about 30% complete in terms of those practice questions and updating them, and now we're about 75% complete. So I'm hoping by spring 2025, we'll be finished those, so that'll all be done. So that's some of the projects I've worked on over the last year. Now, in terms of the exciting projects that I've got ahead, there's one of them that I'm really, really excited about. So that's one that goes hand in hand with the 100 Days to Go videos. And over the next week or two, I'm going to release a video that goes through a bit more detail in terms of what I've got planned. So I'm going to start working over it over the next week or two, and hopefully I'm going to release that out. So hopefully then, whenever you come back after Christmas, you can start preparing it to give it out to your students and to your classes in terms of a resource to really support them with their GCSE maths exams and their GCSE revision. So that's one of the exciting projects that I've got ahead. In terms of the other projects, as I said, updating the practice questions. In terms of Key Stage 1 resources, my son is, uh, he's approaching Key Stage 1, so I want to make lots of resources to help him. Um, for instance, if you go onto the primary website, I've actually made worksheets on number formation, so writing numbers. So for instance, I was teaching him how to write the number 1, and some of them were printed going up and down and across. I was thinking, well, actually, no, I just go down. So I've made lots of resources on number formation for Key Stage 1, but as he goes through Key Stage 1, I'm going to be adding on loads of resources there. So if you're a primary school teacher, hopefully those will be really useful for you. Also, particularly if you're based in Northern Ireland for GCSE Fervor Maths, I'm going to be adding on the GCSE Fervor Maths 5 a day. So I'm really excited about those. I'm going to be adding on those onto the website and lots more practice questions and revision videos for GCSE Fervor Maths. Also, I'm wanting to start going to A-level videos. So once I finish these practice question updates in the spring, then I'm going to be moving into A-level as well. So it's going to be Key Stage 1, A-level, Fervor Maths, and lots of resources as well. But one of the things I just want to say is a big thank you to anyone that uses the website, anyone that supports the website by buying the revision cards or buying the books. I really appreciate that. It makes all this work possible. So thank you so much. And also, I just want to say keep your eyes peeled for this announcement that I'm going to make in the next week or two about this project that I'm really excited about that goes hand in hand with the 100 Days Ago video. But thanks very much. I really appreciate it. I hope the work that I've put in this year has been useful for you. And hopefully for the next 10 years that I'm making the website, there's going to be loads and loads and loads and loads of more resources for you that you're going to find useful as well. So thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.